Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for the blood that your son Jesus shed on Calvary so that we may be redeemed. Back yes. to you, Lord God. Yes, Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for filling us with your precious mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, O Heavenly Father, that comforts and keeps us. Mm -hmm. Lord God, we thank you, O Heavenly Father, Lord God, for your word, for the enduring power of your word, O Heavenly Father. Lord God, you said in your word that the heavens and the earth may pass away, yeah. but your word will stand, O Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. Lord God, we thank you this morning, thank Lord Jesus, you. for giving us something that we can stand on, O Heavenly Father. Yeah. We thank you, O Heavenly Father. Oh, Lord God, we thank you, Lord yeah. Jesus, Lord God, that your word it will not return to you, Lord, but it will accomplish what you desire, O Heavenly Father. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, Lord God. Again, we thank you for your goodness, O Heavenly thank Father. You, Lord. Lord God, as a songwriter said, you have been better to us than we have been to ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lord God, this morning, Lord God, we are gathered together for no other reason mm -hmm. but to praise you yeah. and to uplift that yeah. mighty name, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Lord God, that name, Lord God, at that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue yeah. shall confess. Yeah. Lord God, we know, Lord God, that your word said that there's no other name besides that name, Jesus, whereby we must be saved, oh, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for this holiday season, oh, Heavenly Father. We thank you for this season of giving, oh, Heavenly Father. Lord God, help us, Lord God, to be healers, Lord God. Help us to give completely over to you, Lord Jesus, so that we may fulfill, Lord God, your will for our yeah. lives, O Heavenly Father. Yeah. Lord God, help us, Lord God, to submit to you, Lord God. Right now, help us up. to walk upright before our right brothers now. and sisters, O Heavenly Father. Help us, Lord Jesus, to be that light that you said yes, to shine God. on a hill, yeah. Lord God, that will draw a lost and dying world to your Heavenly Good Father. God. Help us, Lord God, to be, oh, Lord yes, God, Lord. that right saint now. that you're calling us to be, right Lord God. Now. We can't do it without you, Lord. Oh, we cannot do it without you, Lord God. We need you this morning, Lord Heavenly Father. Right we need you, Lord Heavenly Father, in these last and evil days, Lord Heavenly Father. Lord God, we need you to walk, to live the way that you say in this wicked world, Lord God. Help us, Lord Heavenly Father. Help us, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we pray this morning, Lord God, by our services. Lord God, we invite your spirit in, Lord Jesus. Fill us this morning, Lord Heavenly Father. Fill us again, Lord Heavenly Father. Revive us, Lord Jesus. Strengthen us, O Heavenly Father. Fill this house, O Heavenly Father, so that we may rejoice in your Heavenly Father. Fill it, O Heavenly Father, Lord God, so that you may draw some lost and dying soul to your Heavenly Father. Fill it this morning, O Heavenly Father, Lord God, so that we may praise you, Lord God, so that we may give you that highest praise and mean it. From the depths of our hearts. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Lord yeah. God, you are worthy. You alone, you are worthy of all glory, of all praise. Oh, yeah. Heavenly Father, Lord God, and we will look up that mighty name, Jesus. Yeah. Lord God, that name that is so sweet to our souls, Heavenly yeah. Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord God, and as you fill this house, Lord God, we yeah. pray, Lord God, that you will speak. To the speaker this morning, speak through him, Lord Jesus. Lord God, and as you speak through him, Lord God, I pray that you give us an ear to hear and a spirit to be obedient to your word, O Heavenly Father. Lord God, this morning we pray for the sick. Lord God, we lift them up before you, O Heavenly Father. Lord God, you say in your word, O Heavenly Father, that it's by your stripes that you will heal, O Heavenly Father. Lord God, and we speak healing yeah. according to your word, O Heavenly Father. Yeah. Lord God, again, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Lord God, we praise you. Lord God, we lift up that mighty name, yeah. Jesus. Lord, there is no other name, Lord yeah. God, besides that name, Jesus, yeah. O Heavenly Father. Yeah. Lord God, now let the words of our mouths yeah. and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. We yeah. ask these and other blessings in your son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, to the world, the Lord is
praise God this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord this morning. Amen. We just praise God for being here this morning. I don't know about you. I'm so excited to see all the ladies in red this morning. So excited to just let you know Christmas time is here. Amen. We just praise God today that He's allowed us to come together and worship and in praise this morning. So we just thank God this morning for allowing us to be here this morning. I don't know about you, but you know, this is the first Sunday in December of 2022. My goodness, our time has flown. Amen. So we need to thank God that we made it here. And we just thank God for all of you being here this morning. So it's time to worship and praise God this morning. We're going to come before God this morning with songs to pray. I know we sometimes don't have music, but that's all right. We're going to make it work. Amen. We're going to make it work because we're going to praise God with our whole heart. Amen. And give thanks unto the Lord this morning. So let us stand this morning. Mr. Swindle is going to come and do our responsive reading this morning. So as you come, would you please stand for our responsive reading this morning. We just praise God for the privilege to read his word. Amen. We just praise God for the privilege to read his word. So grateful that God has allowed us another chance on this side of heaven to praise and worship him. So Minister Swindon, come with our responsive reading this morning. Amen. Our responsive reading will be coming from Luke 2, or chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. Amen. 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 And it reads, Now there was in the same country shepherds living out in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before him, and the glory of the Lord shone around him, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring good tidings of great joy, which will be to which will be to all people. For there is a born upon Jesus day in the city of David, and Satan. And then this will be the sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothing, lying in a manger. And, and suddenly the angel of the Lord to the the Lord and Amen. 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 Give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning. We just thank God that God is in the business of blessing us this morning. So we're going to ask that we do a congregation on him this morning. So uh, Sister Tina, Brother Jagger, one of the y'all, if y'all would, lead us off. We just yes. praise God this morning. Give glory to God this morning. Amen. So give our hand that you're coming around. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
in this time of trouble, yes. you need to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Amen. 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 So we just praise God this morning that God has allowed us to hang on to his unchanging hand. Amen. Sometimes the friends may change on us. But I got news for you this morning. Our God never changes. Amen. But he's faithful and he's trustworthy. And we can always go to him in time of trouble. We're going to ask at this time that Sister Mitchell will come with our announcements this morning. Uh, just keep our announcements in mind as she comes this morning, please. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To all our visitors, we want to thank you for joining us. Anytime you are in the area, please feel free to stop by and worship with us. Um, our announcements, please just not forget a Bible study each Wednesday um, beginning at 6 p.m. Today is first Sunday, so we will have communion. Let's not forget second Sunday is 9 a.m. worship service. Shallow Baptist Church, Jimison, where the pastor Irving Williams is pastor, will be celebrating their church anniversary. That will be December the 11th, beginning at 2 p.m. Our very own Anthony Nix will be the guest speaker. So let's please make sure you do attend. Amen. Okay. Uh, Morningstar Baptist Church celebrating their pastor's anniversary for Reverend and Cecil. Roman Cecil Nix beginning to no today at 1 30. Mm -hmm. The pastor that will be the guest speaker will be Pastor Kenneth Dackett of uh Eva mm -hmm. Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Nativity beginning December the 18th at 3 p.m., which will be held at the Jimison City Hall. The tickets are ten dollars for ages mm -hmm. five and eleven, twelve and up is twenty. For advanced tickets, and it'll be twenty-five dollars at the door. Uh, it says stop by True Blades Barbershop if you need a ticket. Also, contact Reverend Simon, Sister Brenda Reed, and Sister Mary Carol Sayers. I want to. Our birthdays for this month will be Victoria Wright. Her birthday will be on the twenty-first, and Benny Nick Senior. His birthday is on December the twenty-seventh. Amen. Amen. Um, our sick and shut in is Pastor Matthew Harvell. He is in the hospital. <laughs> Sister Nanita Nick, she is still at Diversa Care in Hoover. Her room number is 38B. Uh, Sister Leanna Worthy, she is home. Sister Georgia Campbell is home. Rosalie Thomas is home. That is Miss Martha Campbell's mother. And Deacon Lane Worthy is home. And Sister Betty Nunn is still at Hattie's <coughs> Continued healing and strength in Deacon Sam Reed, Sister Joyce Nix, Sister Queenie Nix, Brother Sean Worthy, Sister Brenda Seelman, Sister Manuel Marlow, um, that is Ms. that is uh, Cousin Brenda's mother, Deacon Jimmy Worthy, Sister Martha Campbell, Brother Judy Nix, and Pastor Urban Williams. Let's also remember all those in sick and shut in, those in prison and jail and prison. Our towns, the state, the nation, and its leaders, uh, school and college students, teachers, professors, and administrators, and all our Reed family, and all our healthcare workers and caregivers. Um, our Reed family, uh, Sister Gladys Harvell, just please remember her family in prayer, and the family of Sister Irene Davis. She was in life on yesterday. Mm -hmm. So let's please continue to pray for them. And also, today at 2.30, if you don't have anything planned, that is Mills is having the Old Town Christmas today. Um, they may have Miss Arise and kids and different churches set up. So if you're not doing anything, just stop by, bring kids, and um, you know, let them have a little fun. And so these are your announcements for today. Amen. 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 Brother Mike, Brother Paul McKenzie's brother. Brother Mikey, um, Kenzie, please keep them on our prayer list. Gentry on our prayer list. Uh, uh, also, uh, y'all make sure y'all uh, take time out of your schedule to uh, take our bulletin with you and pray for our sick and shedding. Uh, we've got a lot of 
second surgery in this uh, Sister Nan and Sister, uh, Sister Leah and Sister George and um, Brother Lion. They need your prayers. Mm -hmm. They need our prayers. They need us praying together mm -hmm. in unison for them. I promise you, I am when you pray for them, pray for their caregivers. That's right. Uh, because one thing, you don't know what it's like to have to care for someone unless you had to do it before uh, for yourself. So um, it, it, it is an awesome task and it takes a lot of dedication. Uh, it takes folks that are have a calling on their life to do that. So uh, please pray for them. Uh, keep them lifted up before you. Uh, please uh, continue to keep the Davis family lifted up, and please keep the Harville family lifted up. We learned that Sister Harville passed on, uh, I think it was Thursday of this week. Uh, she is out of, was out in California. Uh, so y'all please keep them lifted up in prayer. Um, you know, they need our prayers, they need our support. Uh, and y'all, we are their support, amen. We are their family support. I know they moved and went back to California and yeah. different places, but they never left our heart. So yeah. uh, we always keep them lifted up in prayer as you uh, kneel before God. Amen. So uh, at this time, as the officers come this morning for our tithes and offering this morning, I want to tell our visitors how much you uh, Minister Allen. Uh, so good to have you this morning with us. And, so glad to have all our visitors with us this morning. Uh, just thank God this morning that um, Miss Allen, uh, Allison took time out of his busy schedule uh, to come by and visit with us. And for all of you who came out to worship service this morning, uh, thank God for you coming out this morning. Uh, we just thank God. And I look forward to having a good time this morning in God's Word. Uh, there is a word for uh, heaven today, amen. Uh, so as we get ready to uh, prepare for our offering, let us render unto God what belongs to God. And we need to remember that God will pour out a blessing that we won't have room enough to receive. But we as saints of his, we got to be faithful over what God has called us to do. He said, if you bring me this tithe into the storehouse, See, will I pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough. I want you to hear the words that I'm saying that you won't have room enough to receive. Amen. Amen. So let us come this morning in our tithes and offerings this morning.
Let us pray. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. God, we just want to say thank, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God, we thank you right now for the yes, Lord. as well as they are. God. Yes, God, we thank you for these gifts that you have given us that we are able to give back to you, Father yes, God. Lord. For the upbuilding of your kingdom, Father yes, God. God, we, we pray right now that you bless all that gave, Father God. We pray yes. that you bless yes. all that have a desire to give. But then I yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. God, we praise you. God, we lift you. Praise you. In your son, Jesus, yes. we do pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Minister Dad, for praying over yes. our offering. Uh, and I don't know about you, but it's word time. Amen. Amen. It's time to hear from heaven. And again, I told you I'm kind of excited about this. The word that has kind of a somewhat of a continuation of our series. Amen. You are. So if you would turn with me to the book of John. Amen. Amen. We're going to go to the book of John and we're going to journey at the book of John at the eighth chapter. Uh, and as uh, Minister Jazz, if you would come and give us a congregational song. And then we're going to hear from heaven. Amen. Amen. So get your hearts and minds ready to hear. Amen. 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 We just praising God this morning because truly we serve an awesome God. Amen. 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 It's all right. You can clap right there. Amen. Amen. Let's give God some praise. Amen. 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 Because He's an awesome Amen. God and He's a good God. Amen. 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 Yes. The blood that Jesus shed for me. Yeah, on, yeah, on. Way this morning with hearts of thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you so much for all that you've done for us, Lord God. Now, Father God, as 
you allow us this privilege to preach your word. I ask, Father God, that you would hide me behind your cross. Let it be none of Anthony, but all of you, Lord God. Use me as your vessel of clay. Mold and make me, Lord God, and give me what I need to say. Father, I thank you for this moment, for your people, for Pleasant Hill, and for all of those that are listening in, Lord God. We lift them up before you. Some are hurting for one reason or another, Lord God, and you know, Lord God, all about it. So, Lord God, we thank you right now for allowing us to preach a word that may change their situation, to change their mind, Lord God, about the direction that they're headed. Now, Father God, we ask that your word would go forth, that it would prick hearts and minds, that someone would come crying, what must I do to be saved? So, Lord, when all is said and done, we'll, I'll be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Now, Father, I look to the hill from which cometh my help. Lord, I realize all of my help cometh from the Lord. He made both heaven and earth, and the church said, Amen. If you found your place in John chapter 8, in John chapter 8, if you would stand, I want to read just a couple of verses in John chapter 8. Uh, thank God for all of you, Pleasant Hill, being here this morning. So glad to have Reverend Allison with us this morning. And, uh, to Minister Clay and to Minister Swindle. And to Sister Swindle, to my lovely wife, Francine. I'm so glad to see all of you. To all of our members and visitors and Friend, it's so good to see you this morning, especially with all the sickness that's going on around us. So it is indeed a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Thank God for the leadership of this great church. I thank God for the deacons and all of you who make up the staff of Pleasant Hill. I thank God for you this morning. If you would, Join me at verse number 31. Verse number 31. We'll read just a couple of verses for the hearing in your hearing this morning. Uh, in verse number 31 of John chapter 8, it reads as follows, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. It says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. Verse 32 says, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God this morning. We just thank God for his word this morning so let us pray. Father God, we truly thank you for the privilege that you've allowed us. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you honor and we give you glory. Yes, yes. If I could, for just a few moments, I want to talk on the simple subject. You are a disciple. <laughs> you are a disciple. Look at your neighbor and tell him you are, you are a disciple. A disciple. Now, I, 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 I want to pose for a purpose, uh, uh, a cause for us this morning. We ought to be Christ's disciple. Yeah. That's what you really ought to be. You ought to be a disciple of Christ. But I want to tell you a little bit about a disciple. A disciple, you can be following anybody. I, I, I want to say that again. You can be following anybody. Because when you look at the definition of a disciple, it is a person that follows another person's ways of life and submit themselves to the discipline of their teaching, of their leadership, and their way. I have to admit that we have a lot of folks following the wrong folks. Uh, we have a lot of folks that was disciples of our last president of these United States. Meaning that they're following him whether it was wrong or right. They believe what he said. 
And you can be also swayed into following folks down the wrong road if you listen to what they say and take it to be the truth and nothing but the truth. But what you need to understand that as we as children of God, God is going to hold us all accountable for who we follow. If you are a disciple, you ought to learn to be the right kind of disciple. You ought to base your discipleship on following Christ. A lot of folks this day and time, we follow a lot of folks, but we don't follow God. Or we'll follow the stock market, but we won't follow God. We'll follow coaches to the end of their life and realize that we still ended up, as Solomon said, all in vanity. Yes. Because all of them going to have to pack up one day and die. Yes. But what I want you to know that a unique thing about a disciple, especially a disciple of Christ, and I'm not talking about just the 12 disciples with Jesus hadn't picked Jesus had picked his disciples, those that would be in his inner circle, he had picked. And he had picked us as children of God. If you're born again and say that you love the Lord, you should be a disciple of Christ. He's had picked you this morning. We got to be reminded, don't lose sight of why you're following Christ. Because see, a lot of us follow Christ for what we can get out of it. A lot of us follow other folks for what we can get out of them. Because I, it reminds me of the rich young ruler in Mark 10 and 21. Then Jesus looking at him said, and loved him and said to him, one thing do you lack? Just one thing. Now, it wasn't a lot of stuff, but just one thing that he lacked. He said, go and sell whatever you have and give it to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, take up your cross and follow me. See, a good disciple don't have to give up the things. And if you know the full story of the rich young ruler, he left with his head down because he couldn't give up his stuff. So as we get ready to see what it takes to be a good disciple, not just a worldly disciple, but a disciple for Christ. See, one of the things to be a good disciple, as our text exposes this morning, you're going to have to abide in his word. Listen, that's the problem where a lot of us get in trouble. We don't like to abide in his word. All abiding means is that you understand what the teaching of Christ is. You know what the word says, meaning that you get under his leadership and his tutelage, much like the 12 disciples did. They sit close to Jesus, and when they didn't understand, they were asking, Master, if you would, please explain what you meant by what you said. See, we as his true disciples, We'll spend 12 years in school, four years in college, and we'll come out and we'll be the world's disciple. But if you'll spend just a little time with Jesus, if you'll spend just a few years giving yourself to the Lord, if you'll spend just a few times in the morning time, set aside to hear what God is saying to us, meaning that we got to abide with him. John 14 and 15 said, if you love me, you would keep my commandments. You would keep my commandments. John 14 and 23 said, Jesus answered him and said, if anyone loves me, he'll keep my word. Meaning that you're going to abide 
in him. For my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home yeah. with him. Yeah. And see the thing we don't do, we don't spend no time with him. Yeah. We don't abide with him. We don't we don't set aside time to hear from God. Do you set aside time to just uh, abide with him? Do you come to Bible study? Do you come to Sunday morning or uh, Sunday school? Do you come to worship? Do you come to hear the word of God? In other words, do you spend time with God? Do you spend any time with him? See, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean to your own understanding, but in all your ways, not some of them, but all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will do what? Direct your path. And see, if you don't abide with him, you don't know which direction to go. When you don't abide with him, when you don't spend time with him, you have to ask yourself, am I a disciple? Or am I somebody else's disciple? Because I want you to know this morning, church, you're somebody's disciple. You're following somebody. You're pattern your life after somebody. You want to be like somebody, but you ought to want to be like Christ. In everything that you do, you ought to abide with him. You ought to walk with him. You ought to talk with him. Every chance you get, you ought to let God know how much you love him. I am his disciple. I am his disciple. Not only should we abide in his word, but we must know the truth. I want to tell you something this morning, church. You got to know the truth. See, one of the things that the U.S. Treasury does when it teaches folks how to recognize counterfeit money, they don't study the counterfeit. They study real money. In other words, they know what real money look like. You as a child of God, you got to study the word of God so that you know error when you hear you got to study the word to let God know that I, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except by him. In other words, you got to know the truth. you got to be able to identify it. you got to know exactly what real Christians look like. And you will know a counterfeit. In other words, it's something about it. Brother Paul said this morning in the Sunday school lesson, it's just something about it. It sounds like gospel, but it may not be gospel. Because in the garden of Adam and Eve, the Satan deceived Eve with the word that God really said. What God had said, he had already stamped to Adam. He said what he said and meant what he said. But see, Satan always adds a little twist to God's word. He give us half truth. And brothers and sisters, I want you to know a half truth is nothing but a lie. Nothing but a lie. Amen. Brother Paul brought up this morning and that our text this morning, Matthew 4 and 4, we got to know how to deal with Satan. Yeah. Yeah. When he come against us, we got to know the word. We got to know what the truth is. Yeah. See, what Satan tried to do was tip Jesus, tip Jesus in the wilderness. But Jesus answered him and said, it is written. In other words, you got to know what's written. You can't go by what's in your mind. Because sometimes your mind will play tricks with you. Sometimes you gotta get the pen on the word. You gotta know what the word says. You gotta know the truth. You gotta know the truth. And sometimes we're being tricked and the dazzle because we don't know the truth. We don't know the truth. You don't know. See, if you had known the truth, you wouldn't fall for the enemy lies. You wouldn't fall for his deception because you know the structure 
Yes. 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 See, the thing that you got to know, you got to know who the devil is. Yes. You got to know who he is. He yes. was, he is a liar. Yes. Matter of fact, if you go to John 44, just drop down just a few verses. He says, you are the father of the devil. Yes, sir. And the desires of your father you want to do. He said, and he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks, he speaks a lie. He speaks from his own resources for he's a liar and the father of it. You got to know who the devil is. See, when the devil speaks, he's probably lying. I can bet you 99% of the time he's lying. There's some deception in what he is about to do. See, things ain't going to turn out like he tell you they're going to turn out. He's going to tell you you're going to have all success. He's going to tell you you're going to profit. You're going to get away with it. But you have to be reminded what the word says. The word is true. It will always be true. You got to be reminded what the word is. You got to know the word. You got to know what's truth is. You got to be like those treasures. They don't go around looking for counterfeit. They just know what the real thing looks like. You need to know what the real thing is. You got to read the word and know for yourself. So when you hear error, your ears ought to stand up. Yes. Yes. Something about that I just didn't like the way it was said. Yes. Something about that you need to go, you need to go and find it and read it for yourself. You need to read it out your own mind. In, in other words, you need to know that the, the word of God says, try the spirit, by the spirit, and see what it is of God or not. Don't believe every spirit. Yes, yes. Everybody come up and tell you well, you, you all this in a bag of chips. Right what does the word say? Right. What does the word say? Yes. What does the word say about your situation? Yes. If you are his disciple, you will know the truth. Yes. Tell your neighbor, I'm his disciple. Yes. I'm his disciple. Yes. Because one of the things that you got to know, if you are his disciple, you got to know what the word is. But my last thing I want to tell you as I come to a close, I, I, I want you to understand this, is when you know the truth, the truth will make you free. I want you to understand this. Not that it will set you free, but it will make you free. In other words, if you follow what the word of God said, and you do what this It'll make you free. Romans 6 and 22 says, Now having been set free from sin and having become a slave to God, you, listen, you have your fruit of holiness to the end, to everlasting life. You got to understand what the truth will do for you. It'll set you free from lying. It'll set you free from stealing. It'll set you free from overloading. It's the truth will make you free. It'll make you free. It'll make you free. See, James 1 and 25 says, but he who looks into the perfect law of liberty yes, and continues in it and is not forgetful, not a forgetful here, but a doer of the word. Yes. This one will be blessed in what he does. In other words, if you follow what God's word says, God is going to bless you. Yes. I don't care what other folks are doing. I don't care what the other disciples are doing. But if you follow Christ, if you are his disciple, you will do whatever God says do. 
And it'll be the right thing to do. You won't have to be worried about being entangled in sin. You'll be free from entanglement. You'll be free from demon dominion over lust and passion. You'll be set free from prejudice and mistakes. You'll be free to serve God with your whole heart. You'll be free to tell God how much you love him. I love what Isaiah 61 and 1 says. When we as preachers preach the word, we got to know the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because He's anointed me to preach the gospel. Good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and to open the prison to those who are found. See what the word will do. It'll change your situation. It'll shake change friends. It'll set you, make you free from the circumstances that you are in. But you gotta, you gotta be his disciple. You gotta be his disciple. You can't be a Trump disciple and follow Christ. You gotta be Christ's disciple. You gotta be like Dr. in the words of Dr. Martin Luther King. When you follow Christ, you will be free. And free at last. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. You'll be free at last. And see what you need to know. He wasn't talking about physical freedom. He was talking about spiritual freedom. You need to have God to free your mind, to free your soul. We are going We got to be free from this world bad doing things. We got to be free at last. Thank God Almighty. We're free at last. Well, Pastor, how did I get this free? Yes, sir. I'm glad you asked. Amen. Exactly. Jesus, when he knelt down, Minister Swindler in the garden to pray, he asked the Lord, he said, Lord, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. He said, but nevertheless, see, a real disciple says, nevertheless, not my will, but let your will be done. And when he got up from the cross down in town God and prayed, he got up and had his up town his heel, handed up the heel with an old rugged cross on his shoulder, stumbling and falling down up the hill. They got him up the hill and stretched him wide. He used three nails and nail him there. One for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Spirit. And when they nailed him there, my sisters and brothers, it wasn't the nails that kept him there. But his love, his love, his love for you and I, they held him to the cross. They stretched him wide, hung him high, but he hung his head in the locks of his shoulder. And he died. And I thank God it wasn't over. I thank God it wasn't finished. Because he earned it. Sunday morning, not Monday morning, early Sunday morning. He knows. 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 He Sometimes we're following folks and we don't even know. Yes, but the Lord said, Harden not your heart. Yes, In the day that you hear my voice, the day you hear his voice, asking the question, are you his disciples? Yes, sir. Or have you been following somebody else and realize you're on a bad road? Yes, I love to say by traveling the bad road, there's always opportunity before you turn. Yes. Yes, it's time that you can turn your life around yes, and give your life to Christ. Yes, the doors of the church is open. The doors of the church is open. Will there be one? While you still got blood, 